In this uh, video, we are going to study the derivations of Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. In our last lecture, we have seen what are thermodynamic potentials and uh, the definitions of these potentials. So, here uh, we are going to derive the Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. Now, before this derivation, uh, let us see what is uh, the differential form. Uh, for that, suppose uh, we have z as a function. So, suppose this z is a function of state which depends on two independent state variables x and y. And suppose we can write this as z is equal to z of x y. Then an infinitesimal change in this z due to the changes in this x and y can be expressed as dz which will be written as equal to del z by del x at constant y into dx plus del z by this del y at constant x into d y. So, uh, we are going to use uh, this concept in the derivation of the Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. Now, to obtain Maxwell's relations using thermodynamic free energies, we can choose any one of the free energies as function of any two thermodynamic variables out of uh, the variables P, then V, S and T. So, let us start the derivation of Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. Now, we will start with the first law of thermodynamics. We know that the first law of thermodynamics, it is given as dQ is equal to dU plus dW and the work done is written in terms of PdV. So, we can write the same statement as dQ is equal to dU plus PdV and hence we can express this expression in terms of the internal energy, the change in internal energy dU as equal to dQ minus PdV. So, this is our first law of thermodynamics and we have written the expression in terms of the internal energy. Now, the, from the second law of thermodynamics, we know that the mathematical form is given as del Q is equal to TDS. So, we have del Q is equal to TDS and therefore, when you substitute uh, this del Q in this equation, we can uh, write uh, the same thing as du is equal to, uh, therefore, du plus PDV is equal to TDS or we can write DU is equal to TDS minus PDV. So, let us take this as equation number 1. Now, in this case, we have three uh, derivatives that is one is TS, the second one is DV and the third one is D. So, we can express uh, these three derivatives in this form the, like DZ which is equal to del Z by del X at constant phi into DX plus del Z by del Y at constant X into dy. So, let us try to write these three expressions as uh, in terms of x and y, the independent variables x and y. So, we can write this ds as equal to del s by del x at constant y into dx plus del s by del y at constant x into dy. In the same way, we can write du, this du as equal to del u by del x at constant y into dx plus del u by del y at constant x into dy. In the same way, we are writing dv as equal to del v by del x at constant y into dx plus del v by del y at constant x into dy. So, we have expressed the three terms that is ds. The first we have expressed uh, this ds, the second one du and the third is dv. Now, these three can be incorporated into equation number 1 and the equation 1 was this uh, du as equal to T D S minus P D V. 
So let us see. We are writing this as uh, in uh, state of this du. This is du here, and we have written this whole term, which is given on the right hand side. That is del u by del x at constant y into dx plus del u by del y at constant x into dy, which is equal to this is t ds. So here this is t, and in the bracket we have written instead of this ds we have written the uh, derivative term for this ds that is del x by del x at, into y uh, at constant y into dx plus this term minus the third one is p dv, and therefore we have written this as p into this bracket. Now what we are going to do is bring the terms of dx and dy together. So on the right hand side, we have multiplied this with t, all of the bracket, and here we have multiplied with p, this bracket, and we have taken this dx term and this dx term together, this dy term and this divide term together. So we got these two separate brackets. Here we have t ls by del x at constant y into dx and minus p into this term and here we have the dx term and uh, the second bracket consists of uh, the terms with d by differential. Now on the left hand side also we have some term which uh, is represented here in terms of dx and this dy. So left hand side terms and the right hand side terms can be equated. So let us see how we can equate these two terms that is the left hand term and the right hand side terms. So comparing the coefficients of x and y on uh, both sides, uh, we have here on the left hand side uh, when you compare the terms of this dx we will get del u by del x at constant y is equal to t into del s by del x at constant y minus p into del v by del x at constant y. In the same way if you compare the other term that is for dy, uh, we will get this as del u by del x at constant x is equal to t into del s by uh, del x at uh, del s by del y at constant x minus uh, this p into del v by del y at constant x. So we have given these equations as equation number 2 and equation number 3. Now what we will do, differentiate equation this 2 with respect to y and 3 with respect to x. So we are differentiating uh, this equation 2 with respect to y and uh, equation this equation with respect to x. So when you do this, what do you get? We will get this term as here we are uh, differentiating with respect to this equation is uh, uh, differentiating with respect to y and this with respect to x. Therefore, you will find that this becomes uh, the second derivative delta u upon this will be del y del x because we are differentiating with respect to y. So, we, it becomes del y del x that is equal to here we have t into del s by del x at constant y. So, uh, the equation now will become del t by del y at constant x into this term del s by del x at constant y plus this is the product tool we are applying on this term. So, t into del 2 s upon del y del x. Similarly, this term now becomes del p by del y at constant x into del v by del x at constant y minus this is p del 2 v upon del x uh, del y del x and in the same way when you differentiate this equation 3 with respect to x we get this term del 2 u upon del x del y will be equal to del t by del x at constant y. So this is the equation that we are getting uh, after differentiating with respect to x. Now we can uh, see here on uh, in the this equation you have del 2 u upon del y del x and here it is del 2 u upon del x del y. And therefore uh, now the change in internal energy brought about by changing v to dv and t to dt, du will be a perfect differential therefore we can show that these two terms they are equal.
that is this del 2 u upon del y del x will be equal to del 2 u upon del x del y. So, when these two terms becomes equal it means that the right hand side of uh, these two equations that is this one term and this term can be equated. So, therefore, we have equated the right hand side of the terms so the right hand side are uh, as shown here it is del t upon del y at x del s upon del x at y plus t del 2 s upon del y del x minus del p upon del y at x del v upon del x y minus p del 2 v upon del y del x. Uh, now, what uh, in what way can you simplify this term? So, after uh, simplification we find that here on the left hand side will we have this term t del 2 s upon del y del x and on the right hand side also we have this term t del 2 s upon del x del y this will get cancelled. In the same way uh, here on the left hand side we have this term and the equal term is on the right hand side that can be cancelled and hence the remaining equation uh, will be as follows. So, when you simplify this we will get the second derivative term uh, gets cancelled and we have this term as del t by del y at x del s by del x at y minus del p by del y at x del v by del x at y which is equal to del t by del x at y del s by del y at x and minus this term. So, we have given this as equation number 4. This x and y are two variables out of p, t, v and s. On uh, the numerator side you can see here this is t then s then p and v t s p v. So, this independent variables can be any two out of this four variables p t v and s. Now, this is the general equation. Now, this general equation can be converted into Maxwell's uh, equations. So, to uh, derive these Maxwell's equations we have to take uh, x and y out of this four variables. So, let us see the first uh, thermal so, we will find uh, the first uh, Maxwell's thermodynamic relation and uh, for this we will take s and v as independent variable and substitute x as equal to s and y as equal to v and uh, then we get del s by del x as equal to 1 and del v by del y is equal to 1. Now, if you differentiate this s with respect to y it will be 0 and v with respect to x it will be 0. So, we have del s by del y equal to 0 and del v by del x equal to 0 and our equation here is uh, del t by del y at con uh, constant x del s by del x at constant y minus uh, del p by del y at constant x del v by del x at constant y. So, on this side we have t and s and uh, here we have x and y in the same way on the right hand side we have this one. Now, uh, we have del s by del x equal to 1. Now, where is del s by del x? This is del s by del x equal to 1. So, here this becomes 1. Del v by del y. So, we have del v by del y means this term del v by del y. This will become 1. It means that on the left hand side we have, we have this term and the right hand side we have this term with minus sign. And the other term that is del s by del y. This is del s by del y. This term becomes 0. And this is del v by del x that is this one. This term becomes 0. So, therefore, the remaining term will be 2, 1 on the left hand side and 1 on the right hand side and if you put this, we will get del t by del y instead of this y, we have substituted v that is at constant s is equal to minus del p by del s at constant t. Now, uh, we know that according to the second law del q is equal to t d s. So, that can be substituted here and uh, the equation can also be written as equal to del t by del v at s is equal to minus t into del p by del q at v. So, this is our first thermodynamic relation. So, uh, you can remember here this is t p we have used the relation s p first and now we will find the second relation. To find the second relation what we are taking t and v. So, we will take x as equal to t and y as equal to v. We are taking this x as equal to t and y is equal to v and we get del t by del x is equal to 1, del v by del y is equal to 1 and then uh, the other two terms are 0. We have del t by del y is equal to 0 and del v by del x equal to 0. If you substitute these values in the general equation, 
we will get this as del s by del b at t is equal to del p by del t at b this is our second equation this uh, we know that ds is equal to dq by t and uh, therefore this can also be written as del q by del b at t is equal to t uh, del p by del t at b that is our second thermodynamic relation so in our th first thermodynamic relation we have substituted uh, the pair sv and uh, in the second relationship we have taken the pair pv now the third one sp so let us take the third pair as sp so we have x is equal to s and y is equal to p again we'll do the same thing del s by del x equal to 1 and del p by del y is equal to 1 and del s by del y will be equal to 0 del p by del x equal to 0 we'll substitute all these four quantities in the general equation and we get del t by del p at s is equal to del p by del t at p if you uh, change this relation in terms of q we will get del t by del p at s is equal to t into del v by del q at p that is our third thermodynamic relation and the fourth thermodynamic relation we have we will take this as uh, s and p so the fourth we will take uh, it as t and p sorry so x is equal to t and y is equal to p and uh, then we have to differentiate del t by del x will be equal to 1 del p by del y is equal to 1 and del t by del y is equal to 0 del p by del x equal to 0 when you substitute all these values in the equation we will get this as del s by del p at t is equal to minus del v at del t into t and we can write in terms of q so del q by del p at t is equal to minus t into del p by del t at t that is uh, the fourth thermodynamic relation so uh, you remember it like this in the first thermodynamic relation we have substituted sv in the second thermodynamic relation we have substituted as pv in the third relation we have substituted as sp and the fourth one is tp that is sv tv sp tp so you can remember this way and you can calculate or derive all the four thermodynamic relations from Maxwell's relations you will note that uh, number one the cross multiplication of variables involved in the partial derivatives always gives the form ts is equal to pv as you can see here ts equal to pv which has the di dimensions of energy the independent variables of the partial derivatives on the left hand side appears as a constant on the right hand side and vice versa the sign is positive if t appears with p if uh, this t appears with p then the sign is positive that is you can remember p for uh, positive we can uh, study pressure and volume variation of entropy in terms of partial derivatives involving extensive and intensive thermodynamic variables now uh, the detailed study of Maxwell's relation it leads to a satisfactory explanation of many interesting physical phenomena if, for example uh, if we take uh, first relation it can be used to explain the coexistence of two phases of a substance in equilibrium similarly the second relation can be used to explain anomalous expansion of water when it is heated from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius we can also derive the tds relationship which we are going to do in the next slide this equation to find the first uh, tds equation we'll take uh, entropy s uh, suppose we take uh, s as the entropy of the thermodynamic system uh, it is uh, taken to be the function of temperature t and the volume v so we'll write this as s uh, the as the entropy of the thermodynamic system and let us take this as the function of t and v so s as equal to s of t v if you differentiate this equation as we have done in the last time then we will get this ds as equal to del s by del t at v into dt plus del s by del v at t into dv so this uh, entropy is taken as the function of the variables t and v and we have found out this equation right now uh, we can write multiply whole of this equation by t 
then the left hand side becomes tds is equal to t into del s by del t at v and here it is t into del s by del v at t and we know that t del s is equal to del q and this t del s is equal to del q then del q by del t at v is nothing but the specific heat cd uh, from the second relationship maxwell's second relationship if you remember the relationship was del s by del v at t is equal to del p by del t at v and uh, from maxwell's second relation we uh, will write this as we will we'll use this uh, for in this equation 1 and let us see what do we get so what do we get is here we have uh, t del s uh, is equal to del q and therefore and del q by del t is equal to c d so we get this as t d s as equal to c d d t because this del s by del v at t is taken as equal to del p by del t at v right so therefore this equation becomes t uh, this uh, t d s as equal to c v d t plus t into del p by del t at v that is into d d so this is our first uh, t d s equation Now the second tds equation if we take s uh, that is entropy of the system as a function of temperature and pressure then you can again differentiate in the same way and uh, multiply it by t on both sides now we have t uh, del s by del t as equal to del q by del t at t and this is equal to cp where CP is a specific heat at constant volume. Therefore, when we make use of the fourth relation, del S by del P at T is equal to minus del V by del T at T. And therefore, equation 1 becomes T D S as equal to C P D T minus T del V by del T at T into D T. This is known as the second TDS equation. So, in this way we can find the first TDS equation and the second TDS equation.